reality stars Jared Schultz and Brandy Passante were the quarrelsome king and queen of storage wars, arguing with each other more than their own competitors. But it seems their bickering might have been more serious than initially thought, as they went their separate ways after being together for two long decades. The couple's loyal fans were shocked when new details emerged about their relationship, with Brandy saying she was the victim of domestic abuse on multiple occasions. According to Brandy's own admission, the pair, who were dubbed the Young Guns, reportedly broke up in 2018 after the premiere of Storage War Season 12, but their split was reported in the media only two years later. The duo could keep their relationship status under wraps for so long because they didn't have to file for divorce as they were never married, despite sharing a business and two children. What really shocked their fans, though, was Jared's arrest as he was charged with one count of misdemeanor domestic violence battery against his partner following an altercation at a bar in Orange County in April 2021. According to TMZ, he allegedly arrived at the bar where Brandy was hanging out with her friends. When she asked him to leave, he got into a heated exchange, pushing her twice and also yelling at her entire group. By the time the cops arrived, Jared had already left the scene, but when confronted a few days later, he denied the allegations. However, the police felt there was enough evidence there to charge the Storage Wars star with one count of domestic violence battery. The trial was set for July, but the result of the verdict was never disclosed to the public, and neither of the pair publicly commented on the incident. Just a week later, Brandy posted a cryptic post on Instagram that read, Longest week of my life. Good supportive friends are hard to come by, as she shared a selfie with her friend. Back in October 2019, Brandy volunteered to MC a charity event for Women's Own Worth that empowers victims of domestic violence and survivors of violent crime. When questioned about why she chose this cause, she told the Saline Courier, I have experienced some things in my life and it's really a wonderful cause. It's things that are needed, so I wanted to help in any way possible. She later uploaded a photo on Instagram of the event, which took place at the Arkansas Governor's Mansion with the caption, Domestic violence does not discriminate, race, gender, economic, or social status. Further adding, no one is immune. If you think you don't know anyone that has suffered abuse, unfortunately, you're probably wrong. The statistics are staggering. Many stay silent out of fear or embarrassment. Please help this worthy cause and donate to women's own worth. The mother of two shared a photo of a tattoo on the side of her middle left finger last October that said, free. An excerpt from her post read, by the grace of God, I managed to escape a very difficult situation that so many people fall victim to. I will be eternally grateful for the life and freedom without fear that I get to live now. That's it for today. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to make sure you stay up to date with celebrity gossip and the latest showbiz news.